Hello and welcome back to AI Tips for Genealogy Researchers. Today's tip is all about how you can use a research log to help organize your research. I want to share with you first how I asked ChatGPT to assist me in creating a research log. Let's have a look at what ChatGPT came up with. The prompt was, how can I create an electronic research log for my genealogy research on my Allery paternal ancestors? And then I've named the family groups. Wright, Rule, Dennis, Bacon, Goats, Langdon, Patmore and Fear, which I have already begun to research back into the late 17th century 1792 so the prompt was intriguing because it showed me how chat gpt looks at your prompt and then with its knowledge can help you set up a process by which you can step by step set up your research log in this case it first says choose a spreadsheet program and for me, I prefer to use Google Sheets where it will automatically save and I can share with others if created and wanted. And secondly, create a new spreadsheet. Then label the columns. And this is the clue to how I began to think about a new type of research log. So I hadn't been happy with the way I was logging what I had done. So I just copied all of those headings and I put it into, you guessed it, a Google spreadsheet. So let me share that with you now too. So here are the headings that you saw listed from the response from ChatBT in row three. And I did that whilst it was still in dark mode. So it automatically gave me a black background, which I thought, that's fine. That looks pretty cool. I'll leave it at that. And so I added one more column over here so that I can make sense of who I was doing these research logs for. And I've decided to call that column the family group. So as you can see, I've made a start here with my right family group. And I've put in place under the column headings suggested by ChatGPT, the data that I already have. And by doing that, I was able to highlight the things that I did not yet know. In the case of Alfred, his death date and death location. In the case of Lydia, a birth date as well as the death date and location. And Benjamin also the death date and location. So now it tells me more or less what I have to do next. So of course, my research objective is to locate the death record. And that is the case for this one, this one, this one, and this one. And in this case, I also want to have the birth record. So now I know what my research plan is to be for the next stage. So I wanted to take that a step further and show you how you can just generate this in new sheets for a particular family group. And you'll see I've made a start on that down the bottom here. This is the right family sheet. And now I want the goats family sheet, which has the same layout. And this time includes the data already searched for the goats family and once again, I need to locate a death record. And in that one, I know very little about William Langdon. So I have quite a few question marks here. And all I did for these was to simply highlight them in yellow so that I could see what my next objectives were. So how do I get a new sheet? Well, that's pretty simple as well. First of all, I'm going to copy what I've got here. And then I'm going to add a sheet. 
then paste what I have in place. But this one I need to get rid of those rows, so I'll delete those. And I'm ready to start a new one. So for the sheet name, I'm now going to call this the Langdon Family Group. And I can begin now with some of the details for the Langdon family. So they were related to the Goats family. So I'm going to start here with William Langdon, the one that I had very little data on. And I'm going to delete it from there and paste it into here. So this is for the Lagdon family. So now I've got to start for a new sheet. So pretty simple. I've got the right family. I know what I'm going to research. The goats family, I know what I want to research. And the same for the Lagdon, I know what I need to research. And it's given me a few different clues when I look back at each of those pieces of data that I have located for my ancestors. And I can see some correlations there. And seeing it laid out in the spreadsheet format really helps me to visualize that. Back to ChatGPT. In that prompt, it went on to say what I have just done now, enter into information and record ongoing research and go back to it and make changes frequently. You can also organize and filter and you can save and back up. So from that one prompt and that one response, I have mapped out my research log. I hope that's been helpful for you as my AI tip for genealogy researchers today.